guys me and the kitty are back with another video and we are going to be talking about some nursing study hacks for you guys i have compiled three things that are going to make a huge difference in your studying routine for nursing school let me give you guys a little insight here one of the most difficult things about nursing school is figuring out how to study you have to figure out a way to study that works for you and your brain and your learning style and once you can figure that out you're going to spend a whole lot less time on studying and you're more likely to do better on your exams but more importantly, remember the information that you're actually supposed to be learning. Let's face it, nursing is one of those careers that you can't just cram and learn everything and then forget it and then get into the real nursing world and not need to know any of that information. That puts your job in danger, it puts your patients in danger. You can't just study for a test take your test and then walk out and be like, Ugh, I don't ever need to know that information again because you will need to know that information again. I guarantee even if you hate psych nursing or you hate labor and delivery nursing, no matter what field you go into, you are going to encounter something or some situation and you'll be able to pull from your experiences and knowledge that you learned in those other areas that you weren't really super keen on. Anyways, I'm gonna talk about three tips here now and also I need to mention that today's video is sponsored by Picmonic. So I'm gonna explain these three tips and then I'm gonna show you how Picmonic actually does these things for you to make your studying easier and save you time. The first tip is spaced repetition. This basically is a fancy phrase for when you learn something, you need to come back to it and study it again in an appropriate time frame. You can't study something for one exam and then expect to go all the way to your final exam and be able to remember that information right off the top of your head. So how this works is you study something. Let's say it's a Monday. You go to class, you learn something. When you get home that evening, do a couple questions, review your notes, review your book, whatever it is, review that information again, so that way it sticks with you. I'm gonna actually show you guys a little graph that kind of demonstrates that when you learn something, you've memorized it 100%, and as time goes on, you remember less and less of it. And if you study it the next day, you're back at 100%, and then it takes longer and longer for your mind to forget that information. So if you continuously learn the same thing, you're more likely to remember that information. When I was in nursing school, I actually did this. I st would study for exam one, and then when I was studying for exam two, I would go back and also review exam one's content. So that way, by the time I got to the final, I didn't even have to study for the final, really, because I had already been learning the information continuously throughout the semester. The next tip tip number two is to study in timed intervals. I know you guys like to sit down and say, okay, it's Sunday. I'm going to take 10 hours and I'm going to study all day. But really, we're probably on our phones half the time. Let's, let's face it. We're on the gram. We're on Twitter. We got to catch up on the latest drama and social life of everyone else that actually has one when we don't. But it's not practical to study for 10 hours. You can't sit down and expect to study efficiently over 10 hours. So what I recommend is study like you are sprinting. Sit down, study for 10 or 20 minutes, give yourself a break, come back, study for 10 or 20 minutes, give yourself a break, and set a timer. Force yourself to sit down and really focus on what you need to do and what you're studying. All I see is a kitty foot right here. That's just, that's awesome. So that way you're using your time efficiently and you're being productive with your studying. Put your phone away, turn the TV off, get in the zone, and just hammer down for 10, 20 minutes, give yourself a break and come back. My third tip is to be silly. I know you guys are gonna be like, no, that's not even a tip, Ashley, but hear me out. If you can make associations with information or you can make up a story or make up something funny to remember something, you are more likely to remember it. It combines that visual cue, that audio cue, that emotional cue, whatever it is to tie information that maybe is a little more dry to something that is personal for you or funny or that you're actually gonna remember. Okay, funny story. How many times when you are at clinicals or if you're already a nurse and you're watching this, you're given a report and um, you can tell the oncoming nurse all about the social drama that happened with the patient's family all day long. Grandma came in, she passed out, we had to call a rapid, she actually was in AFib on ER, we had to send her down to the ER. Meanwhile, I had my patient next door who's withdrawing from alcohol and his crazy girlfriend came in and the baby mama came in and you're all in the drama. It's easy to remember, right? Because it's funny, it's entertaining. And then the nurse is like, so did you remember to replace the potassium on room 204? And you're like, I don't know. <laughs> 
but I can tell you that baby mama in room 205 is not very happy with the patient. Anyways, I digress. When you are studying information, try to make up a story that goes along with it or draw a picture or something that's gonna help you remember that information. This is what Picmonic does for you. So let me show you guys. Picmonic is awesome. I am super impressed with this resource and I'm so happy I got to share it with you guys because what Picmonic does is they draw these pictures and tell these stories for you. So you can go on, you can search by topics. So let's say you need to learn about penicillin or you can search by different categories. You can go on for anatomy and physiology or cardiac and you can search by book. So if you're in chapter two, unit two in a certain book, you can go on there and you can look up the Picmonics for that section. All the Picmonics are around two minutes. You can watch them and it's going to help you learn information in a creative way. It makes it fun. You're more likely to remember it when it's entertaining and silly and you have this visual audio cue. Also, once you watch the Picmonic, you can take a quiz. They ask you a couple questions to see how you've retained that information. Another great feature of Picmonic is you can go on and they have a question bank of all the questions that you've already done. And there's two components to this question bank. It's questions that one, you have gotten incorrect or two questions that maybe you got correct, but it's been a while since you've been exposed to that information. So it's going to quiz you on those questions that you got wrong. It's also gonna quiz you on those questions that you got right, but it's been a while. So that spaced repetition coming back to that information that you've already learned. Tecmonic is available on iOS and Android, so you can download it, you can do it on the go. Also, you can develop your own Picmonic. So if there's a topic that you are maybe struggling to learn about, you can create and do your own topic and you're more likely to remember it. Picmonic combines all three of those study hacks that I just talked about into one resource for you guys. You can pull from your nursing textbook. It's just super easy to navigate. It's quick and easy to use. There's thousands and thousands of Picmonics on there for all topics of nursing. It's geared towards helping you pass the NCLEX, but more importantly, it's geared towards making you a successful nursing student, so that way you can be a successful nurse. Picmonic is research proven to increase your test scores by 50% and increase your long-term memory by more than 300%. They have NCLEX sub Subjects covered like your fundamentals, your pharmacology, your medical, surgical, OB, everything. So go try out Picmonic. The link will be in the description. You can try it out for free and let me know what you guys think. And honestly, I just want to hear if you guys apply these techniques and how it works for you. Let me know if it makes your studying easier because that is like, that is what I'm here for. I love giving you guys resources and advice and experiences and just personalizing nursing school for you so that you can be successful. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.